most not here for network news, and here we have the ASUS EPC 101CH. You can see that this is inspired by the EPC 101 that we had before that was running the uh, Nego um, operating system, and they had the Windows version, which this is the, well, obviously based on. It's slightly thicker than the Nego version, but you can see around the side with the VGA port, audio jacks, USB, HDMI, full SD card. Uh, you can see on the top, the ASUS has this kind of texturized finish there, so it's completely fingerprint resistant, which I love. Across the front, we've got nothing but some LEDs. Uh, one speaker on the left-hand side, you can see there. Uh, one thing to notice when looking at the bottom is there is no access panel, so you will not be able to upgrade the one or two gigabytes of RAM that this com comes with, so um, unless you feel comfortable taking it apart through the keyboard, um, buy your RAM ready. So here on the other side, we have uh, the PSU there, Kensington Key Lock, and Ethernet port. Um, that lock is locked into a USB. And if you check it out here, you pull that down. Sorry about my one-handed review here, but yeah, so you can see it's got this little latch, so it does fit a full Ethernet port in. This model comes with a three-cell battery, which is only going to give it about four and a half hours of battery life, which is not great at all. Uh, here at the top we have a 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, this is a 1024 by 600 display resolution on a matte finish, which is great. Up at the top here we have the power button, which I'll just hit there. Here we have the typical ASUS keyboard, uh, chiclet style. Full-size left sh shift key, smaller right shift key. Uh, this is doing okay in here, although I would prefer to see a slightly larger uh, right shift key because I do use that quite a bit. Uh, they've made, they've added in the function key, and they have a kind of small, smaller question mark and backslash. Uh, the trackpad is integrated. They've left a fair bit of dead space here, so you won't be having any issues with your palm touching on the on, on the trackpad when you're typing, which is great. This is a single mouse button, which I am not not fond of, and the dead space on it is, I don't know, from there to there, so that, that's a pretty significant amount of dead space on this. The, the color scheme is massive on this, so you can see there's a large variety of colors that you can get. Um, price point, I can't remember, I believe, don't kill me if I'm wrong, I believe this is around 340, 350. So this has been a quick look at the ASUS 101CH, I'm Nicole Scott for Network News, here at the ASUS booth at CES 2000. And, um,